Can't believe they're canceling the show. What? Can't believe they're canceling the show. The lead actor's dead. Of course they're canceling. What did you expect? I think he died on purpose, just to spite me. No, it was a freak accident. It's really bad timing, that's what it is. For eight years I wrote on that show, eight years. I'm gonna have to look for another job now. Do you know how hard it is to find a job in this economy? Like, who dies in this economy? I don't know what you're so worried about. You have a meeting lined up today with a producer. Just relax, okay? Come on, you're so tense. Ow, ow. You have a really bad knot right here. Yeah, that's my collarbone. Oh, that would explain it. Ugh. I don't understand why we have to meet at my house, you know? Like, why couldn't we meet in a cafe? I do so much better in public settings. I'm like a better person. Well, what if he doesn't like my house? But he's not an interior designer, he's a producer. Oh, what do you know? You haven't even met the guy. It's a formality. He probably just wants to meet you. Why does he want to meet me? I'm just as shallow as anybody else on television. Oh, no. If anything else, you're probably shallower. Oh, thank you, Timmy. Thank you. I just really need this gig, you know? I'm like this close to having to move back in with my mother. Is she the one with the compost? Yeah, that, that one. I only have one mother, you know? Ugh. That compost smells so bad. Oh, I know. I grew up with it. Just relax, okay? You're gonna be fine. Focus on getting the job and being yourself. He's gonna love you. Hey, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go uh, run to the store and get something to feed the guy. All right, I guess I'll stay here and straighten up. Clean my house. Oh, darling, there you are. Oh, geez, Mom, you scared me. It's just me. Well, now I know it's you. You know, I've asked you before. Please let me know before you're coming over. Okay, okay. I'm coming over. Before you're actually here. Oh, lighten up, Sarah. No, Mom, I can't lighten up, okay? I have a very important meeting with a very important producer, so I'm sorry, but I can't lighten up. What are you doing here anyway? Well, I came to pay you a very important visit. Mom, you got to dye your hair. It's like borderline offensive. No way. All those chemicals? No, thank you. It's so bad for your body. Yeah, well, it's so good for the people who have to look at you. So, uh, where's your cleaning lady? She's on sabbatical. Really? No. I had to let her go. She was too expensive. Well, you have to sort your own trash now. Well, yeah, I don't do that. Why not? Because I give to some animal shelter now. But you hate animals. Yeah, you know what? And I hate sorting my trash even more. So there. Hi. Hi, uh, do you have anything that's organic? What did you say? Are any of your products organic? Absolutely not. There is nothing organic in all my shop. Pardon? The only thing that is organic is banana because I have no choice. You want banana? No. No. Uh, uh, just give me uh, two of the chocolate cupcakes, uh, one lemon custard thing, and um, all, of, all eight of those vanilla cupcakes, please. Not possible. Pardon? I cannot give you all this cake. Wh why? Too much. Oh, no, that's okay. I have, I have money. I have money too. What do you think? I cannot give you all this cake. Why not? Because then I will have nothing for customer. I'm a customer and I'm here right now. Maybe. Next time you pre-order yesterday. Yesterday? I didn't know that I was going to buy a cake. So today you only get one cake. Okay. All right. Fine. Just uh, can I get one of the vanilla cupcakes, please? 425, please. Here you go. Sorry. Minimum five dollar. You want organic banana? No.
What's going on? Everything okay? Yeah. Sold my house. What? And I'm moving here. Wait, what? What about your compost? Oh, my compost. We can just put Why did you sell your house? Oh, um, I helped two refugees come to America, and uh, so I sold my house. And that's where all my money went. <laughs> well, you can't spend all your money helping strangers, okay? Hey, Mother Teresa spent her whole life helping strangers, you know. Yeah, you know what? You're not Mother Teresa, okay? You're Mother Fran, you're my mother, and you were corporate America most of your life, and you ran a pretty tight ship, remember? Yes, but now I want to spend the rest of my life helping others. Is there anything wrong with that? Why can't you just do yoga? Or, or work in a communal garden like other rich people? Listen, your house is big enough. We won't bother you. Mom, why can't you understand that maybe I don't want to live with any refugees? Like I said, we won't bother you. <sighs> Where did you find these refugees anyways? On the internet. Oh, mom, that's like the oldest scam in the world. You know, you probably gave all your money to some guy in Nigeria. No, it's not a scam. They're, they're actually here. Who? The refugees. Where, in America? In the kitchen. Mom, are you insane? You can't bring refugees to people's houses. Relax, it's not like they're terrorists. Terrorists? Why did you have to say that word? Jesus, my neighbor! Okay. Could, you, um, could you buy me some cupcakes? Why? Because I'm having some friends over. Why didn't you call yesterday? Just, uh, could you please just get me some more cupcakes? Sorry, no. I need to get one for myself. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. Uh, here. Uh, $20. Forty dollars. Right. Fifty dollars. All my money. All right. What kind of cupcake do you want? Uh, vanilla or chocolate? It doesn't matter. Well, what's it gonna be? Vanilla or chocolate? Okay, vanilla. Really? Oh, chocolate then. Just get chocolate. Fine. Hey, hey! Don't yell at me. Just get whatever kind you want. No, man. I don't need this. All right. I'm not getting you anything. What? Wait, wait, wait! Please. Uh, well, can I get my money back at least? All right. Never mind. Never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Just. Mom, what the fuck? Sarah, watch your language. They understand English. No, but not curse words. Especially curse words. Oh, great. You have to get the cursing ones. How come they understand curse words? We learn from American soldiers. And what curse words do you know? Um, sheets. Uh, uh, brother, sheets. Bitch. Mm, count? Count. Count. I don't know that one. Oh wow, that one. Classy. Very nice. What's going on? My mother adopted two refugees. Really? Why? Wait, that's all you got? Yes, but don't worry. If I cut it correctly, it'll be plenty. We are so excited to meet you. Uh, thank you for your hospitality and your warmth from the, uh, the middle of our hearts. Thank you. He's a refugee. Yes. But his grammar is impeccable. He memorized that. His English isn't very good. Oh, oh that, that's a shame. I mean, he's so good looking. You'd think somebody who's that pretty would be able to speak English fluently. He's just, it's such a shame, you know? It's not fair. Nice to meet you. I am Mahmoud. Mahmoud? That's his name, Sarah? Okay, I know that. Uh, I'm Jamila. It's nice to meet you. What are you doing? Well, I'm greeting them. What does it look like I'm doing? You don't have to bow. They're not Chinese. Well, I'm sorry, Mother. I'm not as traveled as you are, Mother. I know not the proper procedure to greeting refugees. Was not handed that brochure. Oh my god, he's early. Oh my god, that is so rude. You need to change. Oh shoot. Oh, Sarah, can Jamila and Mahmoud meet the producer? It would be so educational no, for them. No, no, no. You guys stay right here. Okay, you stay here. Sit. Sit. Hi. Hi. Can I help you? Uh, I'm here to meet with Sarah Du Bois. I'm with Ace Production. Uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, I was on the phone with Switzerland. Where's the producer? 
But it's not a guy. No, not exactly. Oh, Chris! Hi, it's so nice meeting you. I'm Sarah. Please, have a seat. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> uh, can Timmy get you something to drink? Oh, water. water. Timmy. Please. Uh, can I help you find something? Uh, I need my pen. Uh, uh, Timmy, Timmy, your pen, please. No, 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 it has to be my pen, you see? So, why are we here today? Well, uh, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to meet with me. Well, you said that already, but you're welcome. Uh, okay, so I heard that you guys were looking to produce TV shows. Uh, actually, it's one reality TV show, and it's not even a sure thing anymore, so... There you go. Uh, can Timmy get you some cake? Well, that's a lovely gesture. Thank you. How do you do? How do you? Do. How do you do? Where's the cake? Oh, you mean that little thing? What did you do? Well, there was barely enough for one person. Exactly. Enough for the producer person sitting in the living room right now. Thank you. Thank you. So, the reason why I wanted to meet with you is because I have a great idea for a reality TV show. A show about me. You? What's so special about you? Well, uh... <laughs> I worked in your entertainment business for over 10 years, you know, as a writer. Okay, and uh, why is that interesting? Well, I think the audience would love to find out about the life of a writer, you know, like how we come up with jokes and words and stuff. And uh, like we could have like an episode where like, um, where I have writer's block. Um, we can do another episode where I can't stop writing, you know, I can't stop writing. <laughs> this is a gala apple. Okay, repeat. Gala apple. Gala apple. Apple. Gala apple. Gala apple. Gala akbar. Gala akbar. Gala apple. That's right. Gala Excellent. Akbar. I'm also very shallow. Um, just ask me any questions. Okay, uh, how do you feel about gun control? I don't know about that, but I tell you what. Anyone walking around with red and pink together should just be shot. <laughs> How shallow is that? That's very shallow. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, still, I don't know. Gala. What's that sound? Uh, that's uh, my neighbor. Uh, she, she, she's deaf. Deaf neighbors. Oh. Interesting. Oh, that's very interesting. It's been such a fascinating part of my life. You know life. any sign language? Uh, I know one sign, really, but it's kind of PG. Royal flush. Excuse me for one second. Real flesh. Royal flush. Royal flush. Pantry now. Since I have you here, I might as well ask you a few questions. Oh, sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Please turn your cell phone off. That sound drives me crazy. Oh, that's my neighbor's cell phone. Who calls your deaf neighbor? Oh, um, her deaf friends, I guess. I don't know. Pranksters. Okay. So this uh, is where you live? Yes, uh, this is a 1934. It's noisy. People in 1934 were really loud. It's a historical fact. Um, we do have five bedrooms. We have six bathrooms. As a matter of fact, do you need to use the restroom? No, I'm good, thank you. Are you sure? I'm positive. You never know. I know. It sounds like Arabic's coming from your kitchen. <laughs> Why would Arabic be coming from my kitchen? <laughs> my ears never lie. Oh, wait. My mother says, uh, hello.
never met a refugee before. Oh, they're really nice people. It's exciting. They, they, they look just like us. They could be from Jersey, for all I know. Yeah, Ma, she's right. How do you know for sure they're real refugees? What are you doing here? Are you here to visit the United States of America? No, no, they're going to live here now. Lucky you. Um, so I'm not sure what else I can tell you about myself. Uh, let's see, I bought this house when it was really expensive. Peak of the market. My mortgage is like crazy expensive. Isn't that terrible? I'm educated. And I know absolutely nothing about refugees. What do you like to eat? Huh? Did you always want to be a refugee? Or did you see other refugees as kids and think, I want to be just like that when I grow up? We did not have a choice. It was become refugee or death. Wow. Fascinating. And what did you do before becoming a refugee? Uh, I was a student. You had to study to become a refugee. It's fascinating. Uh, Jamila, why don't you tell Chris your story? Well, it was, um, how do you say, uh, my parents, my brother, me and our dog. What kind of dog? Sorry? What kind of dog is your dog? Um, girl. Oh. And um, the army, they come and they kill the dog and take my father. Oh no, they kill the dog? Yes, and they take my father. We've got to do something against animal cruelty. That animal place thingy is going to hear about this, trust me. I am so, so sorry. So, where do you guys live? Oh, we're in between places right now. And where did you guys live before? A refugee camp. Oh, what was that like? Well, it was hard. It was? How? Give me an example. To, to, to take a shower is very, very difficult. There are not so many showers and so many people. Oh, I had three roommates in college, so I know. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Do you guys share a house? No, we are in a tent. A tent? I love camping. Me too, I, I love it. Being outside in the nature. Did you enjoy yourself? No. But don't give up on camping, it can be so much fun. Oh, I have a great idea. I have to make a phone call. I'll be right back. Hello? Hi. <clears throat> Hi. Hi. Yeah, could, yeah. I, uh, could I place an order, please, for pickup? Oh, sorry. Yeah, could I get, um, could I get two, two? of the, the strawberry shortcakes? Two strawberry shortcakes, yeah? Uh-huh, and five black forests? Five black forest, yeah? And how about seven of the apple pies? Three, seven? Okay, seven oh, apple and, uh, pies. Four cupcakes. Okay. She thinks they're more interesting than me. No, they're just more ethnic. Everybody loves ethnic these days. This is a disaster. Bringing refugees the day I'm pitching my reality show. Oh, Sarah, don't be so dramatic. Dramatic? I don't get this gig. I lose the house. Okay, I'm poor. Really? I'm broke. Yeah, I was gonna move in with you, but then you decided to sell your house to help strangers. She needs to find me interesting. Good news, I spoke with my co-producer and she's all for it. Great, that's excellent. We host a fundraiser so that we can buy this refugees a house. And then I get a show. Well, we'll see about that. So first we need caterer, decorator, waiters, all that good stuff. And yeah. what about my show? You know, Sarah was a fantastic athlete when she was younger. That's great. Yeah, yeah that's um, great. and I almost died. Uh, there was very little heat in the locker room. All right, uh, you know what, I have to go, but um, you know, I'll have my assistant contact you, okay?
Oh, you know what? Um, I'll have my assistant contact your assistant. Or your assistant contacts mine. They contact each other for us. Hey, could you um, could you write something on the cupcakes for me? Yeah, sure. What okay. do you want me to write cake? Oh no, let me let me spell it out for you. Ready? Mm-hmm. Uh, how about F? F, uh, F like uh, friends. Uh huh. You, you, you like you the steak. That's right. Uh huh. C, C, C like customer. Uh huh. K, K like uh, killing. That's right. You. Okay. Uh, what else? You. You. U F U C K U. No, U F U C K U. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your name, please? Hello, hello. What's your name, please? F U C K U. Do you like it? What the fuck are you wearing? It's a... Uh, a tuxedo. Uh, yes, a, a tuxedo. I know what it is, but you can't wear that. Why? Because you're supposed to look like a refugee, not like a computer programmer. And you, why aren't you built? I'm Christian. Round the top of your back. Okay, tilt your head. No, don't smile. No, okay, do smile. Mouth closed, yeah. Look sad. Hungry. Put your hand out. No, put it back. Okay, there. That's perfect. No. No. Hey, no, no, no. No, no, you can't pray at this house. No, no, this is a prayer-free house. We don't pray here, okay? But we, we are not there. No, 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 no. If you want to pray, you take it outside, okay? Uh, we are playing poker. <laughs> Uh, Chris, can we cut? Uh, yeah, because I kind of look like an asshole right now. Um, cut, cut, just cut it, okay? C cut, cut, Chris, come on, just cut it.